It does seem like the Red Bull power struggle is slowly calming down, with reports that there might be a solution recently emerging, especially after the Australian Grand Prix. However, the power struggle is far from over, and recent comments from Helmut Marko just days before the Japanese Grand Prix in Suzuka confirm that despite the fact that there were talks among the two sides in the internal civil war, there is still a lot to be resolved. Will it ever be, though, is the question, and what is next in this ongoing saga? Since the passing of Red Bull's owner Dietrich Mateschitz, a fierce power struggle has erupted within the company. Christian Horner, backed by the Thai faction of Red Bull's ownership, led by Charla Muvida with a 51% stake, found himself in opposition to Helmut Marko, supported by the Austrian contingent, holding 49% ownership. The internal conflict has thrown the team into disarray, with one of the most vocal critics of Horner being Jos Verstappen, father of Max Verstappen, who openly condemned Horner and warned of the team's potential collapse under his leadership. While Horner has been under scrutiny for some time, recent revelations suggest that the accusations against him were merely the tip of the iceberg. A significant development has occurred with a female employee who previously accused Horner filing a complaint with the FIA, despite the prior lack of involvement in the matter, which raises questions about potential actions by the FIA and whether this marks the beginning of the end for the turmoil within Red Bull. However, it has become apparent that there are broader aspirations at play for both factions beyond simply assigning blame to Horner for his conduct towards a female colleague. Reports from the German newspaper Bild aligned with the Austrian faction indicate that Horner's ambition now extends to securing the CEO position of Red Bull GmbH, the parent company of Red Bull Racing, amplifying his influence and authority within the organization. In such a scenario, current executives Oliver Minzlaff, Franz Watzlawick and Alexander Kirschmeier would likely find themselves sidelined as it appears that Horner garnered support from the Thai ownership by offering them the prospect of Alex Albon returning to Red Bull in place of Max Verstappen, who might consider joining Mercedes if discontent with the current situation arises. Notably, Albon's partial Thai heritage holds significance for the Thai community, enhancing his potential for success, especially with Red Bull expected to dominate the upcoming 2025 season before the new regulations take effect in 2026. However, uncertainties arise regarding Red Bull's future without Verstappen, who could potentially switch to Mercedes, and Adrian Newey, who might pursue his long-standing desire to collaborate with Ferrari and Lewis Hamilton. Additionally, securing an engine partner becomes a concern, especially with Ford's insistence on complete transparency. But nonetheless, Horner's strategy to maintain support from the Thai ownership by pledging a Thai driver for Red Bull in the event of Verstappen's departure is intriguing. And despite Horner's prior assertion that Max would not be restrained if he wished to leave, his focus remains primarily on the F1 team, with limited interest in broader projects that could divert him from the racing realm. This development sheds new light on Horner's approach and challenges previous perceptions of his priorities within the paddock. And look, if these manoeuvres were indeed orchestrated by the British team principal to consolidate more power, then perhaps Verstappen's desire to oust him from the team holds some validity. And also, it's possible that Horner is simply capitalising on the current circumstances, a strategy many would employ in his position. When asked about the situation, a Red Bull spokesperson affirmed that Horner's allegiance lies with the team. Nonetheless, initial steps have been initiated towards a resolution, the extent of which remains uncertain but seemingly aimed at peace. Discussions among key stakeholders have taken place this week in an attempt to unite the team and minimise the performance impact of the ongoing drama and despite their disagreements, Horner, Verstappen Senior and Marco are united in their shared objective, securing Verstappen Junior's fourth consecutive world champion title and because of this, they appear to have temporarily agreed to a public truce to further this goal. 
That is what Marco confirmed as well in an interview with the Japanese Grand Prix this weekend, saying that he will attend the race. Then, concerning the Horner investigation and any power issues that the team may be suffering from, Marco reported, for the Thai shareholders, everything is clear, everything is fine for them. Whether anything else will come or not, no idea. It is a very complex matter that is difficult to understand. I would say there are always conversations and discussions. My direct supervisor is Red Bull CEO Oliver Minslav. Right now, we have other concerns than what I'm doing. Moreover, they confront a common adversary in Mercedes, which stands to gain significantly if Verstappen departs from Red Bull, especially with a tantalising driver vacancy opening up due to Hamilton's anticipated move to Ferrari at the season's end. Toto Wolff has expressed keen interest in recruiting Verstappen should the opportunity arise, and there are indications that Aston Martin could be a potential landing spot for Verstappen if he decides to part ways with his current contract. So while Red Bull endeavours to retain both its star driver and Horner, the latter now appears to wield greater influence, bolstered by backing from the company's Austrian CEOs and the majority shareholder. Jos Verstappen suggested in an interview with Belgian media that it will take time for complete peace to be restored. However, achieving total reconciliation seems unlikely as the ramifications have extended beyond the confines of the Red Bull racing team, impacting the broader company, because this situation now goes beyond whether or not Horner's future is within the F1 team, potentially indicating significant changes for both the team and the organisation. This unfolding scenario presents an advantageous opportunity for Ferrari, which is now poised to challenge Red Bull and Verstappen following the latter's DNF at the Australian Grand Prix because it's evident that for the first time in recent memory, the Milton Keynes team faces heightened pressure to perform and to confine this saga to the sidelines, refocusing entirely on on-track performance. Then we have the question of where Verstappen would drive next year, because should he go to Mercedes, it would be a seismic shift, potentially disrupting Horner's promise to the Thai ownership of Red Bull. Albon, though competent, lacks Verstappen's prowess, raising doubts about his ability to capitalise on Red Bull's dominant car. Consequently, this would compound the complexities of the ongoing soap opera unfolding within Red Bull. But this is one of the less likely resolutions to the whole Verstappen part of this saga. Because why would Verstappen go to Mercedes if Hamilton leaves the team? It would make no sense unless Toto Wolff promises Max that if he sacrifices one season in 2025, then the team will be really competitive once the new engine regulations come and he will have a chance to fight for more than two titles. But remember, it is expected that Max dominates not only this year, but in 2025 as well, which would put him at five titles won and seriously threatening Schumacher and Hamilton. But the fact of the matter is that there is still massive potential for further complications with even the slightest disruption making this a large issue within Red Bull yet again. Meanwhile, teams like Ferrari and McLaren continue to improve with each coming race, so we should be in for a very intriguing Formula 1 season. What do you think? Will this Red Bull saga end badly for the Milton Keynes squad or will they come out of it as a stronger team? Let us know down in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.